Let's go through a basic induction proof. We're asked to prove that n cubed plus 2n is divisible by 3 for all natural numbers n. So we're just talking about positive integers. Of course, that's a type of result that would make us think we might need to use induction. And indeed, we will. This begins with the basis step, where we prove that our statement is true for the first number of interest. Since we're talking about positive integers or natural numbers, the first number of interest, which will be addressed in the basis step, is n equals 1. Now, for n equals 1, of course, n cubed plus 2n is just 1 plus 2, which is 3, which is obviously divisible by 3. As usual, the basis step here turns out to be trivial, and we can move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we will assume that our result is true for some positive integer k and show that this forces the result to be true for the next positive integer, k plus 1, as well. And recall that this is a valid assumption, that our result is true for some positive integer, because in the basis step, we prove that it's true for some positive integer. So we assume that k cubed plus 2k is divisible by 3 for some natural number k. By definition of divisible, this means that k cubed plus 2k is equal to 3 times j for some integer j. Now we want to use this to show that the result is also true for the next positive integer, k plus 1. So we're going to be trying to show that k plus 1 cubed plus 2 times k plus 1 is divisible by 3. All right, so let's write that expression out and try to do some work with it. And here is all of the algebra. It actually turns out to be pretty straightforward. We're looking at k cubed plus 2k, but for the next positive integer, k plus 1. So k plus 1 cubed plus 2 times k plus 1. If we expand this all out, k plus 1 cubed becomes k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. And of course, 2 times k plus 1 is just 2k plus 2. What you should notice here is that we have a k cubed term and we have a plus 2k term. We should group those things together because by the induction hypothesis, we already know that k cubed plus 2k is divisible by 3. So we're going to take those two terms and bring them together. And what that leaves is 3k squared plus 3k plus 1 plus 2. So 3k squared plus 3k plus 3. And then k cubed plus 2k by the induction hypothesis is equal to 3j for some integer j. So we'll replace that with 3j. And then the remaining term here, 3k squared plus 3k plus 3, let's pull a 3 out of that. That leaves 3 times k squared plus k plus 1. Then we can pull a 3 out of both of these terms, leaving us finally with 3 times j plus k squared plus k plus 1. So what we have now is 3 times an integer, right? This sum in the parentheses has to be an integer because all of its pieces are integers. So we've shown that if for some positive integer k, its cube plus its double is divisible by 3, then the next positive integer, k plus 1, has a cube added to its double, which is equal to 3 times some integer. By definition, that means it's divisible by 3. And that concludes the proof. You may want to put in one last statement saying, thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, n cubed plus 2n is divisible by 3 for all positive integers n, but this is the argument complete. That is a basic proof by induction. We begin with the basis step, proving the result is true for our first number of interest. Then in the induction step, we use an induction hypothesis hypothesis where we assume our result is true for some number of interest. In this case, that means for some positive integer and show that forces the result to be true for the next positive integer. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. What? Don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie. I'm stressed out.